There is one thing that I do disagree with, but I think it's also has to do with the fear, right? Um, I think I had this fear a long time ago too, that I'm guessing that everybody has this fear, because as I listen, um, that everyone um, are afraid that you know if you give away too much information, people will use it. Um, or give away free knowledge, or people, you don't get to not give away, I mean, people will go to somewhere else to get the information, Um, I already know that, Um, and that's why I often give away free, Um, because I know it's helping, Um, for me, I need to feel that I put in the time, the effort, and contribution, to the marketplace, to other people, that it's somehow it's giving them value because they give me so much value in return as reading books um, and, you know, the time that I spent um, because it takes so much time readings and nobody want to do that um, because especially people who don't want to read and people don't think reading or any information that is very useful in their personal life, in their business life or entrepreneurial venture. Um, I remember back then when I was in MLM, right? And uh, people, I think, I don't know, it wasn't me or other people were afraid to give away inform- free information. And they just give you just enough, entice you just enough. So, and they dang you, you know, the carrot. So they really you in. Into their business. But. Um, they don't have enough. Um, they should be your mentor. And they should know something more than you do. But if they. If you know more than they do. That's kind of um, dangerous. So. The. I think. Uh, people. Um, I was listening to the Kung Fu Master. I think the intellectual. I think Kung Fu forms or a form of intellectual property, right? So we are now in the age where there's tons of free information, right? But information which is also that is not helping. Like if you're, if you know the stuff that you have been studying and you know it to your core, and that you know that you have the capability to give it to the audience, the customer, or the people, then, you know, then, because basically, let's say, if there's fluff, that there's a problem in the marketplace, whether it's martial arts, kung fu, uh, spirituality, uh, law of attraction, psychic, and each and every one of us need help from you, you're robbing us of the joy of learning from you, right, and I love learning from people who, um, people think of, you get not get to do, uh, give away free information, you must, it's a different economy, where, I mean, people complain about, uh, uh, what was it, uh, prior, uh, what was it, um, pirating or something their information uh, because they're scared and you know they sue the other person or something like that i remember one time i read uh paulo coelho that's you know what if someone um pirate his books and he's like yeah it, he's happy i was like what the hell he really said that wow okay but um because if you don't give out the free information, free knowledge, they will go somewhere else to get that information, right? And you want the customer, you want the audience to get it from you, not from the other. But that's, I just don't like this competition thing, man. I don't like it. Like, it's really annoying to me. Because um, I don't, for me, I take the... Um, the uh, the aspiration inspiration from Bob Proctor and Neuro Nightingale they said amateur compete right while pro- uh, professional create right and that you will always be the one who's always giving more 
give more value to help other people and do and one day they will come to you see most people don't think about this but i do think about it just one content one post one knowledge one something and you make the content better than it was yesterday guess what happened right you attract people into your life right to help you to either build the business or to give you an opportunity that you never had before but people don't think about that people are afraid to give away information think about this who d- who do you let's say if bob proctor didn't give away or um there was no secret law of attraction um michael lozier or uh, bob doy or any of that body of that nature didn't put out the information they wouldn't have attracted the business the customer the repeat customer the um, the because they wasn't afraid to give away what they know, and people in their people in the audience in their eyes they see that these people are the go to people the expert that they know something that you want to learn from. Now when you're a beginner you don't know anything so you come to them, right? Um, so don't be afraid to do it because you might get either. Uh, someone who care enough about your products or service or to care enough about your stories that they're willing to give you an opportunity to shine right whether uh, a CEO or author or uh, an important figure that you're trying to reach I think that too many people miss out on that I think that for me I understood that if you if I don't give out the free information knowledge and it doesn't help anybody I won't get noticed by you. I won't um, get noticed by an author or f- public figure or a CEO or an entrepreneur or someone that I'm trying to reach, right? And there is value in giving free information. There is value, right? But I, I, I um, there's a, I want to know more because I am not an expert in this. I just know that if you keep giving, um. And putting out the best work that you can, people will get you. You will get noticed, and you. Will, but usually in the beginning, you have to reach out to the people. For me, anyway, and you have to reach out. You know that's what I did to the kung fu uh, master because I listened to his videos, and he was you know, uh, the things were not going right in his you know in his business. So I listened. So that's an opportunity um, that I gave and put it on my YouTube. Cause I listen and I reach out. See, you 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 see where I'm going, right? Right. That you don't get not to give out your free intellectual property. But of course, I guess that's why people do these things because they want money and make money. Um, but for me, I feel like, for me, impact and significant matters to me more than that. Maybe I should work on my mindset. But, I mean, money is important. But so is the world. It's important too. Uh, Yeah. That's what I got today.